What's up everybody, it's your boy Apoc here, playing some more Titanfall Attrition today. Um, I'm sorry I didn't do a different gameplay today, all because... Here's my favorite, I love this one, it's basically a good game. And, um... The reason why I haven't... I don't play certain games sometimes is... I can't go and play one game and then go and try to get used to another. It, it takes me a really long time to go used, used to another game. So, like, it takes me a couple hours. So, like, let's say I, I play MW3 and I'm going and play Black Ops 2. I, I can't do it. You know, I just, I don't know. That just can't, you know. Something I can't do first. So today, um, I'm here with Memphis, May 24. Say hi, Memphis. Hello. Hi. Still sound gay. I'm right behind you. I well, um, God damn, I like how every single time I fucking play this game, when I'm recording, I do bad. Like, I can never, I'm not gonna get a good gameplay ever, I swear to God. Man. Like, it's really bad. <laughs> well, anyways, the topic we want to talk about today with you is our first car. And, um, Memphis here, he has two vehicles. Memphis, what do you have, dude? I have a 1998 C5 Corvette and a 2014 Jeep Razor Sport Unlimited. Oh, <laughs> rich boy, right there. <laughs> you are, bro. Hey, your Titan will be ready in 60 seconds. And then my first ever vehicle. Okay, so when I was younger, I had a stepfather, right? And uh, he just recently has gotten out of the picture as of the last year. And um, what happened with him was he liked doing dirt track racing, and I did too. I uh, when I was 12 years old, my first race car was actually a. 1986 uh, Mustang. And that's what we used. It was a little V4, you know, all that good stuff. And that's what we raised dirt track with. If you like know the recent motorsports and stuff like that, that's kind of what I'm referring to. And, um, and you can start when you're 12 years old and all that good stuff. And that's kind of what happened to me. Well, my very first legit car was a 1971 Maverick. Ford Maverick. And that thing was sweet. I swear on my life, the, it was a beautiful car. You know, and um, you know, I didn't have my driver's license at that time, but I still drove the car and all that good stuff, and it was just amazing. But since I was doing this racing, my stepfather, who was called Larry, Larry wanted me to have a truck. Oh, bro! Memphis, can you get over here? I'm in the back. Well, um. So he thought I should have a car, you know, and I thought it was a good idea. So I decided to get this car and uh, not just the car, but the truck. So I got a 1986 uh, Chevy Pickett, short bed. Dude, that thing was all black, matte black. You know, it was just, it was a slick truck, you know, not for the um, all black. I love it. And, um, so that's what I got, and I wound up getting. I wound up having to move to New Mexico, right? And uh, my my parents were like, "Well, you we have to sell the truck." And I'm like, "Why? Because we can't just take it all the way over there." So you know, I was just kind of forced to sell my truck. I gave it to my stepbrother at the time, actually. He was Wyatt. And uh, so we wind up selling it to my stepbrother Wyatt. He's about 18 now, you know. I mean, it wasn't so good. So when I went to New Mexico, I bought an '87 uh, Ram Charger. Which, it was nice, it was four-door, it was like a mix between a car and a truck. You would have to see, it looks like a Bronco almost, like, it's like a cousin of a Bronco, you know. And it was just a nice, nice, you know, I'll go mudding and everything in it, and I put a speaker system after a while. And, um, well, what wind up happening was, my mother got sick, and if you all don't know, I lost my mother to cancer just a couple months ago. And, uh... I had to wind, I wind up to sell the truck and all that good stuff. Oh, shit, I got that. And, um, so I got my New Mexico's driver's license, right? And so everything was fine and dandy, and I had my own license and all that. So I was pretty happy, right? So I come here to live with my father in Texas, and what I didn't know is since I'm a minor and I'm under the age of 18, I have to go and redo the whole entire get my license process all over. And I was so mad. So right now I'm currently trying to get my Texas driver's license and all this stuff. It's pretty easy, you know. So 
that's my story about my first car. So right now I'm looking for a car. I'm actually looking at a, a little Honda S2000 right now. And uh, that's a solid game. Like, bro, we should totally race on the like this one. <laughs> so I spam what's happening and talking about it. And um, Memphis here, Memphis likes to go mudding and all that good stuff. So we want a little Mexican. Like that right now. I, I, I like to do anything that's fun. Anything that's fun. I mean, he's a fun guy. I mean, he lives all the way in Waco. I mean, he doesn't live that far away from me, actually. And uh, I live in Dallas. Well, that's kind of my story about my first vehicle. So my first, I had three first vehicles, you know. I'm not counting the race cars, you know. And, um... <laughs> It was just, I like those memories because I, I got to have something that was really just mine, you know? And just the good feeling of it was just awesome, you know? I just, I loved it, you know? My very first car and all that good stuff, and especially that Maverick. That Maverick, I felt so freaking, like, to no end to me. Dude. It was a friendly yeah. Yeah. dude, I'm actually doing good now. I got to get used to this. Oh my god. So that was my story, and then, um, Memphis, what's your story when you got your first car? I got my first car, I got my first, I got the Corvette. My dad, he bought the Corvette when it came out that year, in 98, and it was pretty expensive. It was like over 70, 60, 70,000. And, uh, yeah, he, he, we, we've had it for a while. It's, uh, uh how, how, how old is it? It's like 16 years old? Stuff. And it's still in good shape and everything, as fast as ever. I got the fastest car in town and a little bit of uh, some other towns around me and whatnot. And yeah, we've had it ever since. And I got it for my, all to myself uh, two years ago. My and then I first got my license here. So, and that was all mine. Then I think four months ago, three months ago, I got my, my brand new first car. My first friend, uh, I'm gonna like, my new left is mine, so I got, you know, when I bought it there, it was a 2014 Jeep right here. That thing is a boss. It, nothing can hold me. <laughs> we went muddy, and, and, uh, and my best friend, like, we were with him in his truck, and uh, he went in the mud, he got stuck. And so I had to pull him out, and, I, and when he was out, I went through the mud, and I just wanted to do it like nothing. I had standard tires on. I didn't have a mud tire. <laughs> I can't wait to get, I don't want to get that S2000 though, so I mean, I'm pretty close well, enough on getting that gun, you know? All right, we got what we came for. So, um, yeah, so do you, are you liking your Jeep right now? Well done, what, what do you drive more, your Jeep or that car? Uh, my Jeep right now, because my Corvette, my Corvette's AC and heater isn't working right now, because it, it's a fan inside my stuff. And, yeah, we're gonna get that soon, but I drive my Jeep more. Alright, so, so Memphis, so when I get that car, dude, that S2000, who thinks I wanna race me? The will be heading towards the evac point. Don't let them escape. <laughs> who you think's gonna win, me or you, though? Me. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I got, I got a supercharger. I guess. Enemy drop here. I think this one has a turbo on it though. Yeah, I'm using this crazy ass gun. I'm fine to fight right now. It reminds me of piano. Oh my god, look at it. Ah. What? 360 no scope. Okay, oh. Yeah, boy, we won. Out of here. Woo, final kill too. Let's go. <laughs> Alright everybody, so that's my story, mine and Memphis' story about uh, our first cars. Leave a like and a comment below, subscribe and all that good stuff, keep supporting us. Um, sorry for not the greatest um, gameplay nor not the greatest commentary, I'm just, I'm still getting used to this. I will soon be better, just give me time. And then later tonight when it gets darker, I'll start playing the uh, indie horror game again, uh, A Madman's Guide to Happiness, and we'll finish that up. And then tomorrow, I am thinking about which type of game to do. I'm probably going to do uh, Walking Dead Season 2, or I'm going to do Dead Rising 3. One of the two, or I might just do something utterly different. Because uh, just let me know what I should play and all that good stuff. And like I said, just help us support me and everything that's good. And Alright, APOC out, guys. Memphis, say bye. 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 <laughs>